Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. I'm so excited for this video. It's the first update to my project pan of 2021, and we have hit pan on a few things. You guys, I am making amazing progress. I'm super excited about it. Gonna show you guys everything, and then I'm gonna show you also comparison to the beginning, obviously, always having those comparison for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna update you guys on all of my Project Pan items. They're over there. Now, if you're not familiar with Project Pan, which I'm sure you are if you're here, basically, this is a year-long project pan for me to try and use up makeup products that I choose at the beginning of the year. So that intro video, I'll put it up here if you wanna see it, but yeah, these are all the products I've been working on. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the primer, which is Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And here's where I'm at, guys. So here we started at this line and we're up to here. So it doesn't look like a lot of progress, but you guys, I have been going in on this, so I'm actually surprised it hasn't gone up more, but I do think this is gonna go like really easily in the next few months. Like I think that now that it's started, it won't be hard to kind of get through this by summertime, I feel like. I'm wanting to get through two primers this year, so I really, I think I can do that. I really think I can. So that's where we're at on primer. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, I'm also doing a skincare project pan, so if you guys are interested in that, I will have an update on that soon. So for Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Long Wear, that's not it. That's, that's not it. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation by Fenty Beauty. And you know what? I have used this quite a few times, but for some reason it doesn't look like there's barely any progress. Oh my God, I almost forgot to mark my progress lines. We are right here. Here we are. I made the tiniest bit progress. Uh, I would also like to get through two foundations this year. Again, I think I can do it. I think I can, I just gotta really start using my products and more and more and which um, is gonna happen because i was uh, a little depressed in january and i didn't wear too much makeup and the fact that i made any progress is pretty good so i can do it i can do it I i'm putting my mind to it okay i'm i'm gonna put i'm gonna do two foundations this year okay Oh yeah, let me mark my little progress line on my primer. I love how easy it is to see the progress on this primer. I don't have to do anything. It's just like super easy. For concealer. Okay, so remember how I did a video where I was like, Oh, these are the things I learned about doing my project pan in 2020. The first time, you know, things I shouldn't do next year. And I'm yeah, still I'm here doing, doing them. them. Okay. <laughs> so this is one of the products that I can't show you guys the products. I hate having products in my project pan that you guys can't see the progress on, and I still did it. But I really do wanna use this up, and I don't have a like a ton of concealers, so just know I'm using it, guys. Just, just know I'm using it. What is it? I didn't even tell you. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, multi-sculpting concealer. It's going good. I, I started using it a little bit as foundation. I hate the color of this. It, it runs pretty yellow and I uh, like more neutral shades, so that's one thing I don't like about it, but it is what it is. We're gonna use it up. For powder, I have my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, and if you guys haven't been on my channel before, I always complain about translucent powders not being translucent enough for me because I'm very fair. <laughs> and this one has like the tiniest bit of a tint, even though it says translucent, it's like a little bit yellow. And I don't like to use this under my eyes. So I'm really trying to use it like on my face. I've been doing a decent job. I think I've gotten pretty good use on this so far. And I do believe that this is gonna start going quickly because so you guys can see it was like halfway during my intro and it's like right here now, I would say. Let me mark it. Okay, I didn't make the best line, but you guys will get the idea. So I'm here, but once you start getting in this dip part of uh, translucent powders, it goes super fast. So I think this will be gone. Mm, I don't know if it'll be gone my next update, but maybe the one after that, I feel like. I would never purchase this like ever again. First of all, it's too expensive. Hourglass, I I feel like is super way more expensive than what it, 
what am I trying to say? I just don't think that Argos is worth the money. Which is why I also have this other product that I can't show you guys the progress because apparently, apparently I'm still I'm making, still making rookie, rookie moves. moves here as well. This is the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. Another one I put in my project pan because it is too expensive to let it go and it's got to be used up, okay? You know, there's some lines on here because I was trying to do math and stuff. I was really trying to show you guys where I'm probably maybe at, but I can't do it because it just, it's too, no. But if I had to guess, I'm probably somewhere around here. That's what it kind of feels like, but I don't know because I can't see through the bottle. So, been working on that. <laughs> I do like it as a spray, but again, definitely not worth the money. The thing is like $48 or something. Next up, bronzer, and we have our first pan. Pew, 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 pew. I've been watching a lot of Teresa's dad and she does that all the time, you know, a little air horn, and now like I want to do that all the time. Like, pew, 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 pew. I hit pan. <laughs> I'm so strange. I'm so excited I hit pan on this. I do feel like this is gonna go quickly. Like cream products, this is why I put this in my project pan. I have another bronzer as well in my project pan and at first I was like, am I having too many bronzers? Like that's what I did last year. I put too many products in and I was like, am I doing it again? And I really don't think I am because look at that. I already hit pan on the first update and that's actually a decent sized pan. Like, you see that? Obviously you see that. It's there, it's clear as day, you see that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't have like ba any pan at all, at all, on my first intro video. In my intro video, not my first. Words are hard, guys. Um, and there's a really good dip in here. This is gonna go quickly, I can already feel it. I really like this cream bronzer. I actually really do enjoy this. So I am not mad at this being in my project pan at all. That was a really big goal of mine was to put products in here that I really love. Instead of holding on to products and letting them expire just because I love them and don't wanna use them up, I'm putting them in my project pan and using them up because I love them. It makes sense to me. And I really love this cream bronzer and I'm just really excited to get use out of it. Chose a great time to put a pizza in the oven right in the middle of filming. Don't let me forget guys, okay? I don't like burnt pizza, don't let me forget. I should really set a timer because I will forget. Okay, no, pizza, pizza, remember. Pizza is in the oven. We're gonna talk about this one and then I'm gonna go check on it. Yes, 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 okay. Mark Jacobs Omega. Fantastic bronzer. Another one that I put in my project pan because I love this. I love this bronzer so much. Okay? I love it. It was expensive. I've had it for a couple years. I love it. I need to use it. So it's here. We have no pan yet. Boo! I've been really working hard on this. Like, I can feel it in my bones. It's coming, guys. Okay, this one is the one that I'm most excited about in the project pan because this, for, this, it's like half my head. It's huge. <laughs> so the pan in this one is gonna be so satisfying. There is a dip in it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but there is definitely like a dip going in there. I pan products by like going really hard at the middle so that we can watch it grow and get bigger larger that's really satisfying to me and so it's coming it's coming i know it's coming but no pan yet next up we have my fenty cream blush in fuego flush my pizza my pizza hold on i'll be back we'll finish this in a second Baby, that was a close one that that was close now as soon as i'm done talking that should be cooled down and ready to be consumed where were we Blush, yes, so. <laughs> so this is the Fenty Fuego Flush Blush. It's also a cream. And I'm very close, guys. Do you see that dip? Okay, I swear that at one point I had my brush in here and I had hit pan. But I think because it's obviously a cream, it gets pushed around and I think it got covered up again. But I'm pretty dang sure that I had hit pan on this. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. You guys see that? You'll see that dip in there? So, by the next time we do an update, this is gonna have a really nice dip going, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I like that blush, but I do find myself wanting to reach for other ones because it's a very summery blush. I have it on now, and I do like it. It's just the wrong season for it. But I don't want to put a powder in. I don't want to put a second one in because blush is hard to pan, so... I'm just gonna embrace the summerness. <laughs> okay, next up we have... 
Uh, I got real distracted because it looked weird. Next up, we have my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. And this one is another one. We're getting really, really close on hitting pan. There's like a huge dip in the very center because I use this a lot for my inner corner highlight and sometimes on my brow bone. So I use a really tiny like eyeshadow brush, like a flat one, and I dip like right in the middle because again, that's how I like to pan my stuff is I like to get the, the like dip started and then just make my way outward so we can see it grow from a little tiny pan to a giant pan. Next up for eyeshadow, I have a little Ace Beauté Glimmer eyeshadow. This is a cream eyeshadow. How many times can I say eyeshadow? And we got a pan in there. Hey, look at that pan. Look at that pan. Yeah, we got some good pan going in here. Did I push it up against the sides a little bit? Probably, B but it's there. The point is, is that I'm using it and that we're getting use out of it, right? I don't, ugh, I don't want to say I don't like this because I do like this. I just hate that it creases. Whenever I put it on my eyelids after like, literally after like 30 minutes or something, it starts to crease. So it makes me very sad because this is gorgeous. Like it is so stunning and I love it as like a topper shade or really just as a main shade, but like, look at that. That is incredible. I really like Ace Beauté as well. Like they have amazing shadows, like eyeshadow palettes and like, oh, uh, that is just so stunning. I love this so much. Do you see the little shimmers in there? It is just freaking stunning, you guys. I really wish it didn't crease on my lid, but I'm considering taking this out of the project pan, but not yet. I'm gonna give it another round. Mostly because I do have pan going, so I, I really like the fact that I'm actually getting some kind of use on it, but now that I've hit pan, I'm kind of like, does it really matter anymore? Like, do I really need to go all the way? Because I already know I'm not a big fan of the formula. They're powder shadows though. Ace Beauté powder shadows. Ace Beauté powder shadows are very underrated. They're really good. Okay, palette time. Mmm, palette time. Are you guys ready for, no pan. <laughs> Okay, I'm close though. I'm very close, okay? Obviously, we're gonna show um, the beginning versus now, but let me see. Can you guys see all the dips in there? We're getting super close on this shade. We're getting close on both of these shades, actually. And also on this shade, because I use this for a brown, brow bone highlight a lot. There's a quite a few shades in here. I'm getting really close on hitting pan. And if you guys saw my intro video, my goal is not to pan this entire palette. That would take forever. I just wanna hit pan on five shadows and I do think I'm gonna do that and I'm very excited about it. Will I leave the, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide that if I wanna leave this in the entire year or if I just wanna hit that goal and then put something else in because I have found myself getting bored with this already and we're only a month and a half in, almost two months in and I'm already kind of getting bored of this but that's uh, because I get bored of eyeshadow very quickly which is why this is my least favorite category to choose in my intro videos because I just get bored of the same palette like I just I love eyeshadow palettes I love variety what's the future hold for this palette I don't know okay this is boring I'm gonna go really fast first of all I put two two liners in stupid this one we're taking her out because I can't do it the black one though we're already kind of getting somewhere with her right like she is already like getting like nubby <laughs> Okay, liner, listen, first of all, does this look like much? No, because it's liner, it's eyeliner. If I can like get my life together and show you guys, we have made progress. Do you see, you see, you see, you see? Where did the lid go? Where did the lid go? Where'd it go? Lid, where'd you go? Lid, hello? One eternity later. This is awkward. Can somebody tell me where they put the lid? <laughs> Oh, found it. Last up we have lips. So another one I can't show you. I'm taking it out because it's not fun if you guys can't see the progress. This was the Marc Jacobs uh, glowy shine, shiny gloss stick something beautiful, but you guys can't see the progress. So I'm not gonna talk about her anymore. This one though, the Becca lipstick. This is the lipstick love in ultimate lipstick love in Dune. I love this lipstick. It is so gorgeous for a nude shade. It's like a warm nude shade. It's like kind of glossy, not glossy, it's shiny. 
<laughs> and very moisturizing and comfortable. And we have our progress here. Come on, Lindsay. Come on, you can do this, okay? Here we go. You see it? You see it? Okay, cool. <laughs> Woo. The angles. Angles are not always easy. Oh my god, the pizza is staring at me. Ah, this is a terrible line, but here we go. There is line number two. February 17th. Did you hear that? That's the train. Rude. We just have one more thing. I have to go get it. It's in my bathroom. Settling. Settling? What do you mean settling? <laughs> I put it in hot water so we can kind of like see where we are because it makes all the product go down. I haven't made too much progress on this, although I have noticed when you take the wand out, it goes down a lot. But I'm pretty sure I measured this the first time with the wand in, so we gotta keep it consistent. But do you guys see? You guys see right there? I could do better on this. I really could. I definitely didn't take advantage of this enough, but there is a little bit of progress. How much else to say about this? I didn't even tell you what it is. That's the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. I really love this gloss a lot, but I thought it'd be fun to share this one because it's pretty easy to see the progress on these. That's it, uh, except for a lip balm that I can't find. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but it's fine. It was boring anyways, so that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I feel really good. I feel strong. I feel confident. I feel beautiful. I'm not talking about the makeup anymore. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this Project Pan series as much as I do. Clearly, I love talking about it. And I'll have everything linked in the description box below if you want to check out any of these products and also any of my past Project Pan videos in a playlist up here as well as in the description box. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!